Hello everyone, in this video, our group consisting of four members, Jin Tong, Simi, Brian, and Li Chi, will be exploring how to make alternatives for commercial nail polish remover by using kitchen ingredients. There are three parts to this video, where we synthesize ethanol, acetone, ethyl acetate respectively. The ingredients used are 25 grams of crushed eggshells, 400 grams of sugar, 1.6 liters of water, and one liter of 5% vinegar. The synthesis starts off with ethanol. First, 400 grams of white sugar is weighted out and poured slowly into a boiling pot of roughly 1.3 liters of water. The content of the cooking pot is stirred slowly until the sugar dissolves completely. The solution is then allowed to cool and transfer into a fermentation vessel. To another container with 300 ml of lukewarm water, Two packets of yeast are added and stirred, and then allowed to sit for 15 minutes. The yeast solution is then transferred into the vessel and stirred with a glass rod. The fermentation vessel is sealed shut, and then allowed to sit for a week with frequent venting. The simple distillation apparatus is set up as shown. The solution is then transferred from the fermentation vessel to the flask using a beaker. The solution is then heated and the distillate is collected at a temperature of roughly 89 degrees Celsius. This process is repeated with the remainder of the solution. The fractional distillation apparatus is set up as shown. The distillate previously is then transferred here and allowed to distill at a temperature of about 78 degrees Celsius. Ethanol is collected. The next part of the experiment involves synthesizing acetone. 500 ml of 5% vinegar is prepared. Then, 25 gram of crushed eggshells is slowly added to the solution. For about 30 minutes, the solution is gently stirred with a glass rod and then allowed to sit for 2 days. After 2 days, the solution is filtered using gravity filtration method. The filtered solution is then filtered again through another layer of filter paper. The solution is then transferred to a beaker and heated to boil off the water. The content may get more cloudy as the water is boiled away. When calcium acetate pressures out of solution, the Bunsen burner is turned off and the beaker is allowed to cool. The content of the beaker is then transferred to a wash glass and allowed to air dry for about a day. The calcium acetate is then transferred into a round bottom flask. Initially, the decision was to use an oil bath as shown in the video and heat it until the calcium acetate completely dries. However, it was not hot enough and the round bottom flask was heated directly instead. The product of this run was then distilled twice at 56 degrees Celsius and acetone is collected. The third part of the experiment then uses the earlier ethanol to synthesize ethyl acetate. 500 ml of vinegar is poured into a beaker. Then, the vinegar is heated and boiled until only 10% of the original volume is left. 30 ml of the bought vinegar solution is measured and added to a round bottom flask. Then, 50 ml of the ethanol solution is added too. The reflux apparatus was set up as shown. The water bath is heated and the temperature is maintained at 90 degrees Celsius for 2 hours. The content of the flask is then distilled at a temperature of 79 degrees Celsius. By this point, our supply of Bunsen gas has run out, and we opted to use the propane torch instead. An ethyl acetate is collected. Thank you for watching. Additional videos are available at JD's YouTube channel.